This week on Crunchyk, we're talking about the departure of a top Google Plus exec and when it's the right time for a CEO to leave the company. Hi, welcome to Crunch Week. I'm Lena Rao. I'm Colleen. And I'm Alex. Um, so big news from Google this week, uh, the departure of, you know, a, a big leader at the company and basically the person who headed all of Google Plus in, this, in the search, social search efforts, uh, Vic Gondotra. So yes. what do you guys think about that? I mean, this was just huge news. I know yesterday I was out on location at a shoot all day, sort of unplugged from my laptop. And when the news hit, I still couldn't miss it. I mean, yeah. you get text messages from right. people who know about the company. You see it all over Twitter. It's people ping you with it. They say, wow, Vic is leaving Google. It's funny, more people care about the news than actually use Google+. Plus. Yeah. So you end up with this really weird dichotomy between like, people shouting and screaming and stamping their feet about a product that you haven't used in eight months. I mean, honestly, when's the last time you logged on to Google+, Plus to get the breaking news? Well, I mean, not, never, actually, right? not actually true because Google+, Plus has become interwoven with so many Google products right. that you have no choice but Which to use Which there was it. a lot of pushback on back when they did do yeah, that. Yeah, it went so well with the YouTube community. <laughs> yeah, that's know? right. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing when you voice that upon them, they were so happy. Uh, here's my question. Did this guy get his ass fired, or did he voluntarily depart to spend more time with his family? Well, I mean, there's no question that Google Plus is not a, a, anywhere near the kind of competitor to Facebook and Twitter as it was sort of lauded as when it first um, you know, launched. And I think it's kind of you know, then evolved into something else. It's not, they, you know, they, I think they even say that it's not really a competitor to that. But it still isn't really, there's no clear direction for the product. And right. whose head is going to roll if there is no clear direction for the product? And people don't even understand. Like, I don't really understand what the direction is for Google+. Plus. I don't know about you guys. Well, the <laughs> fish rots from the head, right? Yeah. And Alexia and Matthew, our two bosses, yes. uh, wrote yesterday, they called The Walking Dead, yeah. which apparently is a social reference to a TV show that I didn't get. <laughs> but um, do you think that's true, Colleen? Well, I believe that Alexia and Matt Panzer had great sources on that, but I think it's going to be hard for a long time for any of us to really know what happened. I mean, Google is really covering everything, doing this very much in a way that makes it seem like Vic's departure is totally amicable. This isn't really head rolling in the way that we're used to seeing at a company if a product is a major failure. Normally it would right. just be like, mm. okay, this executive is leaving, we wish him the best of luck, moving on. And in this case, Larry Page wrote this really nice, you know, uh, Goodbye to to Vic and and it seems like everything is is kumbaya. Okay. Yeah, I guess. But like, I have to wonder though. Okay, if he was Google likes to keep people in the family, right? Like they, you know, even if maybe it's not going so well in this area, then maybe you could like shuffle over to Google X or you could go, you know, run YouTube or whatever it is. But like, oh, I just wonder why you know they didn't try to keep him to, or maybe they did, and we just don't know that story, and someone will eventually report on it, why he didn't just stay. At a certain level of seniority, you can't be kicked upstairs any further. There's <laughs> no more true. upstairs to go. <laughs> That's true. Also, very important point, um, we're going to now rename Matthew Panzerino Matt Panzer, because that was <laughs> fucking beautiful. <laughs> He's like, you got both his names wrong in the same sentence. I'm just, I'm <laughs> right, in love it's with true. That. Um, but I'd bet, I'd bet money, I'd bet, you know, half of... Um, I don't know, some money, whatever, like that he got fired. I mean, like, I mean, amicable note to decide the guy's ass is gone. Yeah. The product doesn't work. It's unpopular. Uh, even as a social layer, what the hell does it do? I mean, they already had discrete social networks that are popular like YouTube, and they're now trying to, to harmonize them. I mean, this is an unimpressive product and a fired leader. And I mean, sorry, dude, go take your money and go have fun with it. Like, yeah, I don't think he's going to have any shortage of places no. to go from here. And, and you know, the, the rumor is that he's been interviewing. This has been on Secret. Yeah. People have been talking about yeah. this. I mean, this is a man whose name was bandied about, about. Secret is, uh, oh, no. I guess, some of those, uh, those, those tips on Secret we should, st I, we should, we should really pay attention to. More. Yeah. But, it's like deleting Secret. I mean, out of the loop. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but this is a man whose name was bandied about when Microsoft was looking for a new CEO. Yeah. Some people said maybe oh. it's going to be Vic and Dotra. So this is a person who probably has options. Yeah, and, and, and I have no doubt he'll go and do something really interesting in the future. But like about The Walking Dead, which is the rest of the employees that remain, right. you know, the question is where are they going to be? What's going to happen to them? I, Alexia and Matthew had reported that they're kind of being shuffled over to the Android team. So it should be interesting to see. What impact will that have on the Android product? I mean, you take people that made Google Plus and plug them into Android, are they going to try to socialize? Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, isn't that called? It feels very <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, nice. It feels like a Yahoo move. We'll just throw some people over there and see what happens. Yeah. Well, yeah. a lot will come out, I'm sure. You know, when it comes to the future of Google Plus, you know, if Google doesn't have any problems sunsetting its, you know, its products that aren't working. So maybe that will happen. R.I.P. Google Buzz. Yeah, that's right. Um, so. I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the kind of news that came out this week around CEOs of companies. And um, I guess the first one being the CEO and founder of Radium One, an advertising tech company who was charged with um, the assault of, I think, his, his then girlfriend. Um, and, and domestic, is a very, very sort of serious domestic violence situation. And basically, what happened this week is he got, um, I guess, the charges were handed down and he ended up. Despite the charge of 45 felonies, he ended up only getting a misdemeanor. Right. Because the video that was capturing the abuse was ruled not admissible in court. Well, and the man, he pled guilty. This yeah. was a plea deal, and yeah. he pled guilty to two uh, misdemeanors, which were domestic violence misdemeanors. He cannot say that he did not beat up this woman. Yeah. And the, the talk is that if the video hadn't been thrown out of court, then there's no way that he would have been able to get off with just two misdemeanors, no jail time, yeah. uh, you know. But I, I don't know. This is an interesting thing because we've seen recently a lot of CEOs in the tech space, their personal lives kind of coming into play. Not personal lives, but I guess personal conduct coming into play uh, and affecting their jobs. I mean, we had Brendan Eich, the CEO of Mozilla. There yeah. was a big firestorm around that when it came out that he had been uh, supporting Prop 8. And so he stepped down. He resigned from the company. Uh, Tom Preston Warner, CEO of GitHub, stepped down from the company this week, announced he's completely leaving for good. Yeah. Um, and now people are calling for, for G to leave Radio <laughs> okay, One. Well, let's let's be very ahead. clear, yeah, though. Like, yeah. like, beating the shit out of your girlfriend is, in my view, worse than donating $1,000 to a political campaign uh, seven years ago, whatever it was. This guy is a fucking bastard, and his ass should be in jail. And if he's not fired by his company, we should boycott their products, boycott every single person who's ever given them a dollar, and uh, I would say uh, cut their hair in an attractive way. I mean, these people are assholes. You can't let someone who beats the shit out of people run your company because you're think, endorsing you know, their behavior by a, paying there's them. There's a difference Fuck between them. illegal activity and you know think crimes versus like donating to you know, what, you know, Ike had donated to, I guess, you know, that the Prop 8 thing. I mean, that, I totally understand what the circumstance was in that situation and why it didn't fit culturally with, you know, the Mozilla community and, and what the place was. But this, to me, is just like, you know, if a, if a, if a CEO is deemed sort of doing something that's illegal, which he even, you know, and I guess in legal, I'm not a lawyer, but there are things there that were crimes. Like, I just don't see how they can keep him on as like a leader of a company. Well, this is a board decision. This is yeah. what happens. Uh, you know, at Mozilla, a couple of people from Mozilla's board stepped down right after Ike had right. been named yeah. CEO. I mean, that was just, it wasn't a unanimous support. What we're seeing at Radium One is apparently unanimous support. None of the board's uh, directors, the board of directors have stepped up and said anything. Everybody is mum on it when we as journalists call them. They don't respond. It just seems to me that there's completely supporting this man. Well, and it's Dirt also bags. like or, but it's also like important to point out that they stand to make a lot of money if Radium 1 goes and, you know, IPOs, you know, which is like the plan apparently that they're going to, you know, go public in the next few well, months. Well, why I, does the CEO have to be there for the IPO? Absolutely. I totally they... agree. Why would you want someone with a now proven history of domestic violence running your company? Yeah, that's the guy. No, no, no. Get the guy who beat the shit out of his girlfriend. He'd be great. Yeah. Let's make us public. Investors will totally have confidence in our decisions. No, cretinism, dirtbags, assholes. Yeah. Fuck them. This is yeah. so. This is not okay by every single and possible honestly, metric. It goes against a lot yeah. of the sort of like culture that I thought you know kind of makes technology. Like I, I know that like there are people that have you know that aren't necessarily the nice guys that you know rule the world in technology, and that's totally fine. But like. I don't know. There's just this like feeling of being in this industry that I feel like you know people know the difference between right and wrong and aren't like just swayed by capitalist sort of, you know. I mean, this just seems to be so far in that direction. Travis and Uber are sometimes a little shady, <laughs> right? Right. And we all kind of chuckle at this and read Value Wagon like, okay, you should stop being assholes. That's bad. Felonies are worse. Yeah. Right. 
the the culture of silence around this entire topic, especially here with Radium One, I think that this is just this will go down as being something that is just bad and should never happen again. From uh, obviously from the assault itself, but yeah. then to everybody's reaction to it, and I think you know a part of this might be that the victim was not she didn't cooperate with the authorities, which yeah, sometimes happens. True. I mean, when you've been assaulted, you just want the entire thing to probably just be over and you just want to put it behind you and put it in the past. But other people should be sticking up for this and saying that this is wrong and sticking up for this woman and, well, and, and for all women. It's pretty that, notable that no one's sticking up for him. Like, there's no well, the one coming... Is. Well, I mean, but no front, like there's no like supporters. It's just and silence it's, on yeah. all sides, really. And it's good that people are speaking out on Twitter and that the public and that we're talking about this. Yeah. And there have been a lot of high profile venture capital investors and tech people who have been speaking out about this and really calling for him yeah. to step down, that this isn't okay. I mean, if you don't make call for that, you are advocating the financial enrichment via our industry of someone who beats the shit out of their girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're saying we should reward that with financial support. Well, I mean... Whose side are you on anyways? Yeah. If you think your your IRR for your LPs matters more than being a good human, then I'm sorry, you're not going to be friends of mine, and I hope we at TechWinch blast your head well, off. Well, and I also wonder if, like, other entrepreneurs are not going to want to have t anything to do with their deal. I mean, like, you know, would you want to be a part of a, a firm that, that thinks that way, right? No. You know, I mean... Many, many people may not. I mean, I have a daughter. Like, I would feel horrified by something like that. If this. Alexia beat the shit out of Nico, right? <laughs> Her boyfriend, yeah. Right. But do you think that we would all continue to work here if she was still in charge? No, we'd, be, we'd either leave in protest or she'd get fired. Well, and, and these things take time. You know, the assault happened in August 2013. You know, and I yeah. think that even companies being on the cautious side, wanting the, you know, legal proceedings to play out, you know, they want to find out everything until a decision is made. But once the decision is made and the man has pled guilty, then I would yeah. say now it's the time to act. I, my right. hope is that the company is just being conservative about this, yeah. that he is on his way out, but they're just being I hope so very slow yeah. and deliberate and making sure that everything is done okay. Yeah. Just in the same way that TechCrunch, we haven't written about this story yet. It's not because we're not all incensed. It's because we want to add something to the conversation and make sure that our story is well reported. Totally. And as Alexia has said on Twitter, that takes time. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I hope that they're not just not going to act at all. I, best case scenario is that there is something in place. They just haven't publicly spoken about it yet. Well, let's let's see what the uh, what what ends up happening. And uh, thank you for joining us.